G'day Giants fans and welcome to a very special edition of the Giants pre-season show. We're up here in the beautiful Sunshine Coast. Things kicked off on day one with a brutal session at the Noosa Tigers and we were lucky enough to speak with Giants captain Callan Ward. It's tough, it's always tough down here on the Sunshine Coast. It's, um, as you said, pretty hot out here. It gets really sticky here as well compared to Sydney. And uh, I think the boys love it. I think it's really good for our training. And you know, every year the boys look forward to this week. It's always the last week of the really hard first block of the preseason. So to come out here, you know, training like we did today is really good for us. It's just good going along Hastings Street. You know, plenty of people nowadays know, you know, who you are. You know, they know who the Giants are. So I think we're starting to get that following down here on the Sunshine Coast, which is good. Day two kicked off with a brutal beach session down at the main beach. Players were asked to split into groups to make some Christmas cards without speaking. Those cards will get sent out to some members this week. After that, the groups competed in some races through the surf. We handed the mic over to Giants co-captain Phil Davis. Phil Davis here for Giants TV. Getting the inside word on what was a terrific Tuesday morning on the beach with the great Adam Tomlinson. Uh, what's the balance been like in terms of uh, mental exertion and physical exertion? Uh, it's been pretty physical the last couple of days. Get a bit of uh, relaxation time this afternoon, but I think come Friday uh, it's all going to be physical, but the actual mental part of it comes in the days leading up to it as it's uh, pretty taxing on the body. Tom, obviously you're not afraid to put on the budgie smugglers. What do you do in your downtime when you're up here? Uh, this boardwalk here, I patrol a lot with James Stewart. He doesn't mind putting the togs on and uh, having a stroll, but I'm uh, pretty keen on my bucket of prawns, so I sort of hunt different restaurants for the prawns. Day three, we're here at beautiful Maroochydore. We caught up with Giants coach Leon Cameron. We're really lucky, Matty. We uh, had to sort of flip things up with our training schedule, and we chose a two o'clock session thinking it was probably going to be 32 degrees and pretty blustery, but it's turned out to be 25 and not much wind. and boys' energy was just outstanding and it was great to you know, have a fantastic ground to train on. Um, I'm really lucky that um, Maroochydore could allow us on their facilities. Um, so yeah, it's been a really good two and a half hours. Now day four was a bit different, there wasn't too much happening, so the players had the day off and enjoyed some time on a fishing boat. Griff was probably best on. You got a big mama, didn't you, Griff? You want to come talk about your fish, mate? Come on. How big was it? It was uh, 63 centimetres. I waited patiently and I reaped the rewards. So you can have a look at it in a minute. Yeah, he got, he got what he was after. He wanted a big frog and he got it. So oh, um, yeah, happy days. There she is. Big Stevie's got a hold of her. Yeah, you're right, Stevie. You have it, mate. <laughs> <laughs> so no, all in all, it was a good day and um, yeah, look forward to it. So the Giants training camps come to an end now. We're here at Maroochydore for the final session uh, and the Al McConnell Cup finish things up. That wraps things up here at Maroochydore. It's been a great camp on the Sunshine Coast. 
Uh, look forward to next year. Uh, Merry Christmas to all Giants members and get on board because there's exciting times ahead.